There's an order to life, and that order is in your private life and public life. God in Christ, Christ in men, man over woman, and woman over children. There is no other way that is going to work. Sorry, there will become a time when I return the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children. They ain't say turn the children to the mothers and the mothers to the children. It said fathers, boys and girls, men and women need the father. And the devil got you trying to make everything else work. It ain't going to happen. It's just going to be more hell, more hell, and more hell, and more hell, and more hell, and more hell. In in your personal private life and public life, if you don't overcome evil. Anyone that has anger is evil. Anyone that has anger has fear. Anyone that has anger has hatred. You're of your daddy, the devil. You must be born again of the father. Is this going to get worse? Ain't no way it's going to. I don't care how many new ideas you come up with, new things you build or don't build, or what your little plan, it ain't going to get better. Look at the blacks. They've only gotten worse. Generation after generation, no matter what you try to do to the white man, it ain't made the blacks better, period. And it ain't going to make him because it's spiritual. And white man, you can run all the way to Hirschburg. It ain't going to get better. It ain't going to get better. You ever thought about taking off of work? You know, you're, just, you're at work, but you just want to go home. <laughs> Well, here's one way to get off work. This is from the Blaze. An Oklahoma gas station employee wanted to go home early, so he asked, ask, ask someone to rob him at work. Watch this at Fox, from Fox. Uh, Police arrested Isaiah Jones, Aaliyah Locke, and Stephen Jones, saying the three made a plan to hold the store up all together. Yeah, quite the plan, huh? This is the quick trip where that clerk was working. Again, police said he was a little bit tired, phoned a friend who phoned another friend so he could rob the store and get off a little bit early. Police say the man you see walking into this quick trip was just helping out a friend. The quick trip employee was tired of working and wanted to get off early. Sergeant Stephen Blaylock is talking about the quick trip employee Isaiah Jones. Who got a couple people um, on board to basically stage a robbery at the quick trip. Police say Jones texted Aaliyah Locke. That there was a female involved that was kind of the getaway driver. Who then got a hold of this man Stephen Jones you see here in the hoodie. He approached the cashier and handed him a note that basically said, give me all the money or I'm going to shoot you. He then uh, brandished a firearm that was in his waistband. He says Jones played right along. Who was working at the time of the robbery, who was the one that's reported it, and who was handed the note. All went well until police say they found and arrested Stephen Jones days later, who ratted out Locke, who then sold out Isaiah's. Right now, all suspects involved are uh, being charged with uh, conspiracy to commit uh, a misdemeanor. Um, some have been charged with embezzlement. Um, the suspect involved who actually walked in the store and branched the firearm, he is a convicted felon with prior felony convictions. Major, what a man. One thing about the black, they didn't know how to go home early. <laughs> or not to go to work at all. What the? An example of not having the fathers. Men and women that grow up with fathers close to their father, they don't do those kinds of things. What the? A return to the Father is a must-be in order to have a real, real life. You can, have, you can have heaven on earth, or you can stay in your hell on earth. It's up to you. I set before you life and death. Choose life. But if you love your death, stay dead spiritually. A California is a mess. Because of the weakness of the men. No father's love. 
ABC has reported that a recent stream of burglaries targeting affluent neighborhoods in California, Southern California, is being investigated as part of a sophisticated international crime ring. Watch this from ABC. Seen one suspect, he came running through the backyard, and I was like, who in the hell is that? You know, and then... And then uh, two more came running out, and I ran back there, and they were going over the fence. As we investigate the cr uh, case, or any crime really, including residential burglaries, we'll look at, is it part of an ongoing trend? Are the suspects involved in other crimes outside of Anaheim, Orange County? In this case, yes. We're told they're from the same group seen here, all the way in the Hollywood Hills. Surveillance video shows three people walking out of a home with clothes, bags, and other items. Eyewitness News has learned they're part of an investigation into what law enforcement calls a transnational group. In other words, an international crime ring. Authorities will not confirm where these three suspects are from. The Orange County complaint charges Diego Rendi Chuentecol, Miguel Fernando Marchantavia, and Manuel Rodrigo Vendalsburgos with two counts of burglary, possession of burglary tools, obstructing an officer, and false representation. They've pleaded not guilty. There have been three arrests, but how many people does this actually go deep? I'm not sure. Safe to say that it's more than these three people, though, right? Yes. Sophistication is among the aggravating factors. Now, in addition to Anaheim and Hollywood Hills, we're learning agencies are also investigating burglaries in Yorba Linda, Palos Verdes, Manhattan Beach, Dana Point, Santa Clarita, and Santa Monica, all potentially tied to an international crime ring. Maybe, but they can't say where they come from. But the, the name is Gertrude uh, Trado Thrawardias Maricas and, and Kusuri Thrawardias Maricas. Well, you know they come from Mexico with names like that. What the? <laughs> they ain't from Watts. What the? And Crater, Contrados, Espinado, uh, uh, Rocaricas. But we don't know where they come from. Hola. Sound like Mexico to me. I don't know, but it sounds like Mexico. Fossils reported that a Los Angeles Police Department officer, Los Angeles City person, personnel, and people directly involved in the LAPD recruiting and hiring process are going public for the first time with their concerns. Watch this. A lot of the people that are being hired right now should not be police officers. LAPD officers and LA City personnel. It's a danger. It's a, it's a direct danger to the public. We're just letting the floodgates open to people that shouldn't be on the job. He supervised LAPD police backgrounds for 20 years. Williams retired a year ago after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis in 2020. <laughs> Followed by massive protests across the country and anti-police sentiment. Defund the police! Williams alleges the LAPD began making changes in its recruiting process. We were given direction to uh, focus more on diversity candidates, which we always have. But he says if the top tier candidates were not from a specific minority group. They didn't want them, so they, they sat on the shelf. They started manipulating the standards and the guidelines, which that was a major issue with me. He and other sources say the LAPD is making it too easy to be an officer. Uh, we're now hiring people with 40, 30, and in some cases, lower than 10% physical scores. It's going to be uh, devastating if you lower the standards any more than it is right now. And who's going to suffer from that? I think primarily the community. A spokesperson for L.A. Mayor Karen Bass has this to say tonight about the situation. There is no world in which Mayor Bass would ever support the lowering of standards for those who serve in LAPD. Yeah, right. What a mess. All the wrong people in the right places to make sure my country never returns again. Never returns again. Now, do you believe me when I say we need the fathers? The men must return to God, the Father, and become men again? Uh, and stop acting like little females fighting one another, gossiping and carrying on? Clean up your own private life and get it together. The world needs you. It really does. It ain't going to work through the women. And it ain't going to work through weak men. It ain't going to work. What would it take... What would it take for you to wake up 
and focus on you and stops worshiping evil, idol worshiping evil and calling it good? Where is the love? Not mama's love, but God's love. God's love is a dispassionate love. It's not a passionate love at all. When someone says, oh, I'm so passionate, I'm just a passionate person. And what they're telling you is that they're an evil person. You better run the other way. And white men, since we're on the manhood hour, well, y'all need to stand up. Stand up. Y'all need to stand up. If not, now when? And stand up means speak up. Say no. No matter what they call you, they're your enemy. When people attack you, they're revealing to you that they're your enemy. When husbands and wives attack one another, they're saying to each other, we are enemies. We don't love one another. We hate one another. Be glad to see your enemy and stand up to your enemy by not hating your enemy, but dealing with it in the right way. White man, you, white men, you founded this country. This is your house. What the? This country was founded, created, and built and designed by white men. With the help of God. And now they have you on the run in your own house. And they have you on the run, men, period, because you represent, and the devil knows it, the Son of God. And they don't want any image of God around at all. Zero image. Why do you think that when they were given those, when those L LGBTQ Catholic men dressed like Catholic women, and they were, went down to the L.A. Dodgers Stadium there somewhere? And they were carrying on on the cross like that. They want to get rid of any image of God. And men, they want to wipe you out. It's not about your color. It's not about racism. It's not about sexism. It's not about being abusive. It's not about black or white. White. They want to wipe you out because you represent good. And push forth the woman because she represents evil. The God above it's the man's God. The God below is the woman's God. And they know it. And they're using the woman and all this other mess to keep you down. To wipe you out. It's not just about getting rid of the Bible or getting rid of a church building. It's getting rid of the foundation, which is the man. Have you seen men in commercial? How weak and beta male they're made to be? Watch this compilation. Rudy, I think you need a little extra fiber in your diet. Oh, Carol, fiber makes me sad. It's a blackberry that flips closed. So no more butt dialing. Yay! Yay! <laughs> no, you don't understand. I have an MBA. Oh, you have an MBA. In that case, I'll have to show you how to do it. Wow, he's like a deer in headlights. He doesn't really think if he stares long enough, new food will magically appear. Does he? Just like magic. Voila. Where does he get that from? Oh, and there you have it. The tree from which the apple fell. <laughs> Is this ride safe? Assembled it myself last night. I think I did an okay job. Just okay? When does something bad happens? We just moved in the next town. Just okay is not okay. Like that time you told your wife you were at the regional sales conference. Wait, what? what? Remember last March with Steve? <laughs> or use it to make a white wine spritzer. Perfect for hanging out with 2 chains. I love your rap music. I have a helicopter. Ooh. We should be going. You don't like boats? I thought State Farm didn't have all those apps. Where'd you hear that? The internet. And you believed it? Yeah. They can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Where'd you hear that? The, the internet. internet. Oh, look. Here comes my date. I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, bonjour. Just a luxury car service instead of strength training with Patrick Willis. Come on, Todd, flex them chicken wings. Well, I travel a lot, and, and um. Here's 
since we're often all on the move, Ashley suggested we use FedEx Office to hold packages for us. Great job. Mm -hmm. And on a protocol note, I'd like to talk to Tim Hill about his tendency to use all caps in emails. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, sometimes the caps lock gets stuck on my keyboard. Hey, do you want to get a drink later? They go out of their way to try to make the woman look strong and smart, and she's not, and make the man look weak and beta. In reality, he's not. But that's what they're doing because they hate God. And so they hate you, and especially white men. White men, see how they adore you? And you won't speak up. You won't say anything. White people, I'm not, remember that, that the burger guy that wanted to uh, shine the black man's shoes and give him a hug. White man, when will enough be enough and you start speaking up? And whatever the attacks are, let them attack. Let them call your name. Let them threaten to take your stuff. Let them, you're none of those things anyway. Those are just false identities. Be glad when they attack those false identities so you can see what you think about it. Let them go. But you need to stand up. And they are going after the white man in that way, weakening him. And as a result of that, the whole country is becoming weak. It's not getting better. Look at services in America today, weak. Look at your little white children, weak. Look at your wife. They're becoming just like the black women, mean and nasty and controlling on an ego trip. It's a spiritual battle, pushing the woman farther and, and trying to make her look like she's special, special from hell, and put the man away, get rid of heaven. This is not a joke. This is evil. It's not a reason to freak out either. It's a reason to wake up. They are rather let all the illegal aliens into the country to hurt the white man than to do what's right. Because they hate God, so they hate you. They don't love the woman. They're just using the evil in the woman to destroy good, make her feel like she's something she's not. A mother's love is not special. It will kill you, literally spiritually and literally. And white men, I, I just don't get you. I, I do clearly understand what's going on and why you, but fight for your life. Fight inwardly for your life and speak up outwardly for your life. Don't give up on your own life. What the? Christ came that you may have life and you're scared to have life, and you make up excuses for not having life. I set before you life and death. Choose life. You can choose life right here, right now. It doesn't take but a second. Some of the stories I hear, I just don't know what. <laughs> just, and I counsel with men and women around the world. Some of the things I hear from the men, I just... I, I I just don't get, even though I do understand it. This is from the revolver. A black man threatened a white man and his family. A black man threatened a white man and his family, brandishing a knife. The white man dialed nine one one, and I, I hope that Israel from Texas is watching this. Cause he called up this morning, that mess, trying to reverse everything. But when the police arrived and arrested the black guy, the white man broke down and sob. And my question is, why did the white man sob to the police? Watch this from Twitter. He was arrested and charged with simple assault and terroristic threats. Following his arrest, he was transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Let's go to the SWAT car, please. Okay, that way. Why? I'm being arrested? Yes. yes. For what? I will need for you to fill out a statement for him. I don't want him arrested. I just want him to leave his alone. No, but he had a weapon on him, and it was terrorist threats. Brandishing is not a crime with a knife. Brandishing is brandishing. only a crime for a gun. Terrorist threats, though, sorry. 
because he said die to me and had his knife out. What? All that was what? done. What? No. I said I wouldn't call. I just wanted to leave this alone. I understand, but we still have a job to do. Now he's gonna say, he's gonna think I'm doing this because I'm white and he's black. And, or he's homeless and I'm not. I don't want but did that. He, but did he do what he did? Yeah, but I don't want him thinking that I did it because he's in whatever situation he's in. I, I just want him to leave us alone. I doubt that. <sighs> I'll be right back, okay? I'll say, okay, I'm going to let this man go. Let him threaten you some more. What the... I what the? How that man arrested so fast, making hair swim, and the white man is boohooing. I don't want to get. I don't want him to think I'm a racist. I'm the white man. I just don't want him to hurt us with a knife and threats. Uh, uh, and look like his wife or somebody walking up on him. His wife. If that his wife, the white man's wife, she need to go in the house. Pat her bag and say bye. It's over. If you don't see it by now, and it ain't your fault. That man just crying. So he, uh, allegedly, the guy went after him with a knife and threatened him. He called the cops. Now he boohooing because the guy is being arrested. And he, oh, I don't know about his situation. He's going to see me as a racist, a white man. That white woman, I don't know what she must be thinking. What the? You want to go live with him? If you can't see that the blacks hate white people, you are blind. Watch this from the revolver. Whites are demonized by the media, and white workers are passed over for jobs simply because of the color of their skin. Black privilege, quote unquote, has been, has taken over and the, ra and the radicalized left want to eliminate the white race altogether. Watch this compilation. White human beings thought there's a world here and we own it. Prior to them, Black and brown people have been sailing across oceans, interacting with each other for centuries without total subjugation, domination, and colonialism. But because they're so here. corrupt. You know, their thinking is so morally and spiritually bankrupt about power that they can't let, you know, they fear viscerally, existentially letting go of power. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these motherfuckers out but i know but like we can't say that right we but whiteness is largely an inco you know an inconvenient interruption an inconvenient interruption what are white people Man. superior at <laughs> exactly what white people are superior at. they're real good at violence violence genocide. it's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it if you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing then you're a killer too what exactly are white people superior at Insecurity, pretending, fear, being a fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move. O.C. Frank Pong, who calls himself the funky academic online, recently commented on Facebook, some white people may have to die for black communities to be made whole. I'm confused on why that's so controversial. One minute you're headed to a nice dinner with the family, and the next, this happens. <laughs> At one point in the rant, the strange man threatens to kill every white person in the restaurant. Five police officers are killed in the line of duty in Dallas. Police cornered the suspect, identified as Micah Johnson, and negotiated with him for hours. The suspect stated he wanted to kill white people, especially white officers. They have been booked with the first-degree murder of 66-year-old handyman Lawrence Herr. And they did indicate that they were specifically not only looking to kill somebody, but they wanted to be a white person. Because that, in my estimation, is the only conclusion I have come to. We have to exterminate white people off of the face of the planet to solve this problem. Amazing. Now do you believe it? And if they were able to exterminate white people off this planet, all they're going to do is do what they're already doing, turn it on each other. It ain't going to solve their problem. It's not going to solve their problem because it's evil. 
and they'll just turn on one another. What does your mother do when you go and apologize to her for resenting her? She turns on you. She builds an army against you. That's evil. Why don't you deal with evil? And remember, Biden said that the greatest terrorist threat the greatest th- terrorist threat is white supremacy. That came from Joe Biden. And guess what? It all turns out, speaking of slavery, according to Fox News, President Trump is the only current or former living U.S. president who is not descended from slaveholders who is not descended from slaveholder. Biden, Carter, George W. Bush, Clinton, and Obama all have ancestors who enslaved black people with Obama's link coming from his white mama side. They all descended from slavery, slaveholders, except for the great white hope, Donald Trump. Slavery, so-called Jim Crow, so-called the Klan, KKK, or systemic racism, white supremacy doesn't compare to what's happening to the whites today in their own country. At all, period. There's no comparison to the evil that's been brought up on white people in their own country. May God... Have mercy upon America.